everybody, and welcome to North American League Wrestling Six Sense. This is your host, Danny Jackpot. We are here, six matches, six titles on the line. All, all the titles you could possibly think of here in North American League Wrestling will be held up, will be defended. The Canadian Tag Team Championship about to be held between the bloodline of the current champion, Stephen Ray and Andrew Liana, the challenger. Stephen Ray just won the 40-man countdown New Year's Rumble to win this opportunity for his team. Zack Starr and Biff Andreas were able to knock off Project Ego and win the Canadian Tag Team Championship. This will be their first title defense. Will the bloodline be able to defeat Steven Ray and Juliana, who's a decorated tag team in CAW? North American Elite Wrestling, six cents. We're going to crown the very first ever Divas Champion. When Cheryl Nicholson, Lilith, Alexandria Marie, and Chantel Queen all face off. As you see Raiden and Leanna making their way down the ring right now. As you, Leanna and Steven Raiden, a decorated tag team like I've said in call, a historic tag team over the last 10 years, have won over 10 tag team titles. But like, you, like some people have said, to be champions 10 times, I mean you have to lose them 10 times. They are looking for their very first set of North American Elite Wrestling Tag Team titles here tonight. See you and Angeliana, Mr. Triple Crown, the Nomad. As you can see, Angeliana and Steven Rain. This is the first time in 10 years. Well, now this will be the second year since they started teaming up last year again, and technically. This will be the first time they challenge for tag team titles, I think, as a heel team, other than maybe one other time in New AW. Steven Raiden and Andrew Liana challenging Biff Andreas, Zack Star of the Bloodline. This match starts off six cents, the bell rings, and we're about to get underway. Biff Andreas, Andrew Liana, the two legal men in this match, and these men have history with each other. These men actually faced off at Collision with Norm the Storm Daily at Collision 2019. 2018. Collision 7, that was, everybody. Chapter 7. Biff Andreas. Attacking Andrew Liana. We see Zack Starr already going after Stephen Raiden. Both men separating on the outside. Andrew Liana with a spinning backhand knocking down Biff and Dreyas. Also tonight, the main event, the Hell in the Cell for the NAW Championship. The suspect tries to defend his newly won NAW title against Joe Omega, against Extreme Tony, against Lester Barkley. Also tonight, we will see Smokey and Andrew Hart challenge the United States Tag Team titles. We'll also see the American title, all-American title on the line tonight. Nate Farron, the current champion, defends against Nick Black and Evan O'Shea. The Maple Leaf title on the line. The newly crowned champion of Christmas, Connor James, will take on his own partner of Cash Corporation. LaMarcus Carter will take on Ossie Andy, will take on Al Cabrera, the former champion, all in a TLC match tonight. The final of the pilot season, everybody, six cents. As we are looking forward to an AW Canadian, Canadian aggression, new AW American showdown. That is right, everybody. You've heard me correct. We are going to the draft split. Who are going to be the Canadian tag team champions? To get winners of this match, Jaren to be on the Canadian brand. Steven Reigns, the legal man in this match, got a tag from Andrew Liana. Double team maneuver here. You see a sidewalk slam with a reverse DT applied. Steven Reigns and Andrew Liana, like I said, great tag team. Biff Andreas though with an eye rake. Biff Andreas with a drop kick knocking down. Steve Raiden. Tags in Zach Starr. Zach Starr and Steve Raiden are the two legal men in this match. Both these men, former world champions alongside. Biff Andreas also a former world heavyweight champion, a decorated champion here in call. Steve Raiden, back suplex on Zach Starr. Six cents gonna be a hell of an event tonight, everybody. I, I'm like, seriously excited for this show. A tag right there. Andrew Liana getting the tag. Snap here brings down Zach Starr and a kick to the face by Andrew Liana. Andrew Liana and Steven Raiden, I will say. Working is the better team. As you can see now, looking for another double team. Poking Zach Starr in the eye with Steven Raiden had helped him. Held him, I should say. Helped Andrew Liana. And Liana accidentally kicking Raiden right there. Andrew Liana, to do it here. Telling the crowd. Telling me that was an accident. That was an accident. God, I, I, I think he wants everyone to know that was an accident. Over what happened with Steven Raiden. 
and Leanna when they, for they had formerly broken up before. I think Leanna wants everyone to know, including Ray, that that was an accident. Jack Starr with that corner. Set up drop kick, drop, bell, drop down, drop kick. I don't know what you want to call that. Cannonball drop kick. Jack Starr picks up Leanna. Had puts some whips in the corner of his with him and Steven Ray now. The two legal men again. These two men haven't worked as a great team. Matt had one slip up, but all great teams have slip ups. Steven Ray and Juliana firmly place Jack Star down with that same double team we seen him use on Britt Andreas earlier. Steven Ray looking for his finishing maneuver the range rack. Nails it on Zack Star. Steven Ray now has nailed Zack Star with his finisher. Pulling Star away from the ropes. Will this be it? Will we have new Canadian tag team champions? One. Oh, and not even getting a cover. I think it took too long for Steven Ray to get into the cover there. Because there was a quite, a, quite a bit between the hit of the finish and the, and the cover. Zack Star getting one count on a quick roll up. Or quick cover, I should say. Ray with a bulldog on Zack Star. Steven Ray up. Oh my god, springboard! Moonsault by Steven Ray. Now going to the out. Top rope, springboard, bulldog, cross body, I should say. Body splash, more like it. Zack Star smartly making the tag to his tag team champion partner, Biff Andreas. Biff Andreas like punches the face. And then lays out Steven Rainey with a big sit out spine buster. Vintage Biff Andreas. Biff Andreas now just shots to Steven Rainey's face. Referee saying they're all legal with open hand shots. Biff Andreas back elbow and Raiden in the face. I don't know what Raiden had planned, but it doesn't work. Biff Andreas knocks him down with a drop kick. And Juliana gets a tag from Raiden. I don't know who to say. This match is pretty dead even right now. Biff Andreas has his hands on Leanna. Whips him into the corner of the bloodline. Biff Andreas now tags Zack Star in the ring. Zack Star, my cousin, going off the ropes. Just nailing Leanna in the face. Returning the kick to the face favor. Zack Star going off the ropes. Looking for that double star leg drop. Nails it. Zack Star goes into the cover on Leanna. One. Steven, Zach, oh, and we see Steven Raiden and Mr. Triple Crown break it up. Zack Star with a spinning, like, spinning drop kick right there. Looking for a hurricane run, but no, Andrew Leanna power bombs him. And the velocity with that down to the mat. With us, with these two men, with Steven Raiden. I'm Zack Star, I'm playing for Andrew Leanna here. But Leanna, no, reverses whatever Star had planned. Rolls in the ring now. Leanna, the quickness of Leanna, the former MMA fighter, turned street fighter bike. And Leanna now at the end now stable. Breaks apart. I don't know if I should get out of here or not. Steven Raiden throws the match back into the ring. All right, thank you, Steven Raiden, for that. I don't need my announce to be invoking the very first match of the night. Referee coming out, Andrew Leanna at three. Zack Star tags in Biff. Leanna back in the ring. Biff and Leanna, two legal men. Biff knocks down Leanna with a drop kick. Biff Andreas with a cover. One. Biff Andreas only in one. Oh! Biff Andreas with another drop kick, but Zack Steven Rain, as he had a five count there, knocked Biff Andreas out of the ring. It was completely legal. Biff Andreas, monkey flip one. Andrew Leanna wants to get vintage Biff Andreas here at six cents. Biff Andreas knocking down Andrew Leanna with that monkey flip and then taking him down with some hard shots. Got his kicked, caught though. Leanna with a roundhouse kick to the back of Biff Andreas' head. Tags in his partner, Raiden. Leanna, maybe he's sensing some trouble, maybe he's sensing some urgency in that tag, I noticed. The bloodline, maybe Biff Andreas looking for that monkey flip again, but no. Catches a foot to the face of, St of Stephen Raiden. Stephen Raiden now. Looking for that, maybe that Raiden's wrath here. I'm Biff Andreas. Nails it again. That's the second Raiden's wrath of the night. Yeah, attacks. Star. The crowd are not liking what they've seen. Steven Raiden had whipped Zack Star away. Get only two of them on the cover. The crowd did not like this. Steven Raiden now looking for the Raiden's wrath again. 
Raven Dress getting down with the Raiders for the second time now. Leanna looking for a little star. Leanna now goes over the top rope, starting able to reverse it. Raven's in the cover. Zack Star's right there, though, too. Zack Star able to break it up, only getting two. What a series right there of two counts for Zack Star. And I mean, for Steven Raiden and Juliana on the Canadian Tag Team Champions, the bloodline. Steven Raiden now looking for a crucifix, looking to get Pippa a surprise. Then Zack Star breaks it up at two. I can't believe the action in this match. This is just the very first match of this, of this show. If you didn't see the kickoff, I must remind you, Monster Messiah is now the Brutality Champion. We've seen Colin Gruel and Don Marie win their debut matches. We also seen in the in the pre-show, Corporate Alien, he, oh, he, he and the executive. Corporate plays unfair as they beat Bunkers. The bloodline with a hot tag, it looks like, too. Zack Star, the tag was needed. Zack Star's on fire. Zack Star knocks out Leanna, knocked out Raiden. Oh, and Raiden stops him in his tracks to step up into Gurry. On the pre-show, we also seen Kong Khan knock out the Hollywood Canadian Connection. They will be at their brands, the challenger for their brands, tag team titles. It could be these Canadian tag team titles like we've seen right now. Zack Star nails Stephen Raiden with a sleeper slam. Double star lay drop that one. Stephen Raiden, Finn Andreas in the ring. Look at the door, four off Andrew Leanna, but doesn't. Andrew Leanna able to break that up in two. Zack Star with star power. Stephen Raiden catching knees to the head. Raiden looks to be busted open. And Juliana Bob breaks out up at two though. And what tag team match here. I thought Leanna and Raiden were in the first control of this match and maybe even all the way up until just recently. Raiden with a Russian leg sweep on Zack Star. Only getting one. Zack Star is a house of fire right now. Zack Star, looking for, well, I I've seen him use this move before, the Boston Crab. Turn it, almost like a lion tamer like maneuver. Zack Star getting caught with a schoolboy. One, two, up, and then Jazz breaks it up. Vienna tries stopping Biff. What tag team action here in the opening contest? Steven Raiden with a jawbreaker on Zack Star. Oh, almost like, a, almost like using his head instead of knees like a cold breaker. And that jawbreaker right there. Steven Raiden now with a crucifix. Only getting two though. Biff and Dre still have to break it up. Zack Star was able to kick out luckily for his team. Don't know if Biff would have made it there. Chin locked by. Steven Raiden and Biff breaks that up. And what action we have here in the very first match. Also, don't forget, we also see Chris Snyder win a six-man battle royal in the pre-show. The last match of the pre-show, I must mention, he will have a shot at either the All-American or the Maple Leaf Championship. At the start of the season, Steven Ray with a springboard splash. Oh, my God. Body splashing. Catching height there. Steven Ray. Biff Andreas, though. Springboard drop kicker as he gets in the ring, makes the tag. Leanna was also the legal man now. Leanna, though, able to get up and whip Biff into his corner. Leanna throws Biff down. Steven Rain, yeah, Biff down. Steven Rain, no go. Oh my God, Steven Rain! Oh my God, goes coast to coast. Steven Rain! Now Biff Andreas after the edge coast to coast. Catches a knee to the face. Biff Andreas could be done. Oh, and Zack Star breaks it up at two. I think that would have been it for Biff Andreas. Biff, don't you know you like Biff Andreas? And a kind of ice by Biff. And a kind of ice. Zack Star catches out Juliana. Raiden taps. Raiden taps. The bloodline retains. The bloodline retains. And what action I just seen here on the opening match of Sixth Sense. The bloodline retained their Canadian tag team titles. If you missed it, the replay. Raiden tapped. See the Raiden tapped. The Uranagi. Vintage Biff for the Uranagi. But going to the end of kind of ice. Surprised everybody, I think. Biff Andreas, Zack Star, and an unexpected move. Retain their tag team titles. And the Canadian tag team champions, the Bloodline. Successful tonight against Steven Rain and Juliana and one hell of a match. And I must say, I am proud of Steven Rain and, and, and Angeliana. I am prouder of Biff Andreas and Zack Star, the Bloodline. Both teams showing themselves great action. 
The fans, excited. The fans on their feet for the bloodline. The fans are also, everyone's just on their feet for the Canadian Tag Team Champions. Biff Andreas, Zack Star, successful tonight. And we have to move on from that exciting match, everybody. We have the NAAW All-American title on the line. Nate Farron, who won the title in a 16-man tournament, defeated Alex Snow in the finals. The current champion now, Nate Farron, making his way down the ring. Skill to defend against Evan O'Shea, longtime rival, and Nick Black. Nick Black, who debuted in call three, four months ago, one of the hottest commodities on the cost scene. Which one of these three men will walk away with that coveted, newly, look at the nicely designed All-American Championship that Nate Farron wears around his waist? Nate Farron, the All-American Champion. Six foot nine. Nate Farron is going to be a beast to be. And all these men might have to be looking out for Chris Snyder, because Chris Snyder, Nate Farron's tag team partner of NSFW, even announced that, heck, if we're on the same brand, it's going, it's going to be Farron, and he's going to take out from you. If, it, if Farron happens to retain on the same brand. So everyone looking over their shoulders. And don't forget, if you want to know that we, we've been told that the draft, the official rosters will be released right after Six Cents on the Converse Forms. So click that link in the description, everybody. Converse Forms, Converse Discord. Be there, everybody. If you're a Call fan, if you're an AEW fan, if you're a member of this roster, you should already be there. Evan O'Shea making his way down the ring, the Call legend, the WDF European champion. Evan O'Shea. Evan O'Shea, a member of the Comic Con. Actually, some would say that he considers himself the leader. Comic Con wouldn't consider themselves a leader with the way that Evan O'Shea had challenged for Sean Dynasty and Nick Gemini. I would say it puts Evan O'Shea in that leadership position role almost. Evan O'Shea, great friends with Nick Gemini and Sean Dynasty tonight. It's all about bringing the All-American title home to their, to their little, to their, to their faction, their stable. And then don't forget the money, the power, the power, the more comic books that Evan O'Shea, that Sean Dynasty and Nick Gemini could possibly have. As you see now, Nick Black making his way out to the ring. Nick Black, like I said, one of the highest commodities in call today. Has only been debuted three or four months ago. Has already won multiple championships in CAW. This man runs Ascend Wrestling. Nick Black. He has just started three, four months ago, and like I said, he's already here at the main of not the main event at six cents, but the main card at six cents. Will Nick Black possibly walk away with the All-American Championship? Will it possibly be Evan O'Shea? Will it possibly be Nate Farron? As you see, referee Charles Adams with the All-American Championship here in North American Elite Wrestling. It will be defended on the showdown brand. Which one of these men will be guaranteed to go to the showdown brand as the All-American Champion, 6'9", Nate Farron, Evan O'Shea, Nick Black. The bell has rung for this triple threat. And Nick Black right away. Now a huge tire suplex on Evan Nate Farron. I'm just surprised right there. The impact, the velocity right away. Nate Farron cut off guard. Now will you see the rivals, Nate Farron and Evan O'Shea work together right here because it looks like they're both staring down Nick Black right now. Yes. As you see now, these two men, as Evan O'Shea holds it for Nick Black. Maybe these rivals have respect for each other. Nick Black, the rookie. Again, I, I don't think either Evan O'Shea or Nate Barron would like to lose to Nick Black here tonight. We'd like to see Nick Black walk away with an All-American title. And Evan O'Shea now holding his rival, Nate, Nate Barron, for Nick Black. The two smaller men in this match, both exciting. Both men also use that brain buster finisher, Nick Black and Evan O'Shea. Evan O'Shea, big shoulder block there. And Nick Black nailing him with a drop kick. Evan O'Shea getting whipped off the ropes here. Nate Farron, five jacket, Evan O'Shea right down. And Nate Farron, not using a pancake, everybody but using that flapjack. And these two men now, double teaming Evan O'Shea. We've seen a lot of odd double teaming in the brutality title on the kickoff earlier. But we see a lot like that tonight. And. Nick Black now at my table, breaking it apart. What can Nick Black possibly have planned? And thank God Nick Black gets away. Because I was about to step away here. 
Evan O'Shea and Nate Farron find the ring. Evan O'Shea knocks Nate Farron down. Goes to the top rope, nails an elbow, touch, elbow drop to Nate Farron's back, back. And Evan, and whoa, what a maneuver right there. Almost like it half a brain buster by Nick Black. And Nate Farron there to break it up at almost two, I think it was. Didn't know the referee got his hand down or not for that two, but Nate Farron was there to break it up either way. Doesn't matter as long as it ain't three. And Nick Black nailing a kick to Evan O'Shea, but then Nate Farron grabs him, nailing a big back suplex to torque in the velocity on that back suplex. And Nick Black going, Evan O'Shea, or Nate Farron going for a cover, but Evan O'Shea breaks it up. And, oh! A guy big back suplex. Nate Farron now holding onto the waist and locking the hips on these back suplexes. A second back suplex picked him up again. Same style, but then nails a German on the third. And Evan O'Shea though now grabs Nate Farron. Nick Black down, Manhattan drop on Nate Farron. Evan O'Shea gets up and brought down to his knees and then slammed down on the mat. Nate Farron looking for a cover, but I don't think he realizes Nick Black's back up. Only getting one. Nick Black quickly breaks that up. Nick Black now spring. Uh, Evan O'Shea knocked down Nick Black and then springboarding. Both these, oh my god! Double team springboard on Nate Farron! Crossbody and knee to the face! I don't know how Nate Farron's up and fighting right now! Evan O'Shea though still! Going off the ropes! And Nate Farron weak! Nate Farron taking a two boost to the face! Double drop kick! Nate Farron down the mat! Nick Black and Evan O'Shea working together as a tag team against the six foot nine Nate Farron! And, oh! Nate Farron though, quickly looking for a small package. Only getting one. Everyone breaking up covers in this match. Not letting anybody get a two now. Nick Black looking for an abdominal stretch. And Nick and Evan O'Shea breaks it up by kicking both men. But Nick Black now holding Nate Farron for Evan O'Shea after that abdominal stretch position. And Nick Black now holding on to the wrist after bringing him down and landing two knees on the arm. And Nick Black now possibly looking for a brain buster on Nate Farron. Delivers it, Nick Black. Exciting. Evan O'Shea though, looking for possibly his brain buster on Nick Black now. Will this be it? Will Evan O'Shea be the All-American champion? Evan O'Shea, both men down for brain busters. One, two. Nate Farron breaks it up in time, the crowd goes crazy! All three of these men now. Up, oh, they're both these men, Nick Black and Evan O'Shea, double teaming. The All-American champion, Nate Farron. Nate Farron was able to break up that cover. As you've seen, the fans, they, they didn't like that. They wanted to see Evan O'Shea win the match right there. The fans, further behind, the car battery and the car legend, Evan O'Shea. Oh, and Evan O'Shea, missing. Um, I don't know if any of you glimpsed one of those men, but either way, Evan O'Shea will capitalize quickly, mostly hitting Matt to Evan O'Shea. So did, so, did, so did Nick Black, and god damn, a hip toss by Evan O'Shea. Nick Black now, looking for a brain buster on Evan O'Shea. Not stealing his finisher, because Nick Black both used that move like I say. Nick Black looking for a cover, but Nate Farron back into it. Nate Farron looks to be a little, a, a little bit on... A little bit on Queer Street right there, but no, that have a brain buster now by Nick Black on Evan O'Shea. Once again, though, looking for a cover. I don't know if he's thinking he can quickly catch one on Nate Farron or not. Nate Farron letting these two men work over each other. Nate Farron actually now telling Nick Black he's got, he's, he's got him here and a double Russian lace sweep by both these men. Nate Farron is slamming Evan O'Shea's head down to the mat. And Nick Black, the neck breaking, slamming. Nate Farron's head and neck down to the mat. Pulling Nate Farron away from the ropes. Is this going to be it? Evan O'Shea's down. Nick Black's got the cover. One, two. No, oh, and Nate Farron checks out at two. And that almost was it. Big knee to the face by Nick Black up when Evan O'Shea held Nate Farron there for that knee. And now, Nick, Nate Farron off the ropes. Evan O'Shea maybe looking for that brain buster. But Nick Black, he'll nail a, a neck breaker there. Nick Black. Now, looking for Nate Farron. Nick, Nick, Nick Black, get thrown on the top rope by Nate Farron. No bicycle kick on Evan O'Shea by Nate Farron. Nate Farron, and then cover one, two, three. Nate Farron retains his title here tonight at Sixth Sense. And what a match. He tosses Nick Black over the top rope. I don't know if he was playing. 
If you were playing Weasel there or not. Possum there. If you played Possum there or not. But Nate Ferry was able to throw. Nick Black right over the top rope. Nate Black right in front of me laying with impact. Nate Ferry nails the bicycle kick. Covers Evan O'Shea. And as you see, that leads to what you see now. Nate Ferry holding up the All-American Championship. Nate Ferry celebrating his victory. Nate Ferry retains the All-American title here. Nate Ferry will be on the American Showdown Show after the draft split, representing the All-American division. Nate Ferry has to be happy here. Nate Ferry dominating here in North American League Wrestling. Nate Ferry, the All-American Champion. And this is something I'm really excited about, everybody. We are about to crown in a, a four-way elimination match. The very first ever Divas Champion here in North American League Wrestling. As Cheryl Nicholson about to make her way down the ring. Her, 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 her wife, I mean, the wife of the United States Tag Team Champion, TJ. Her husband, TJ, will defend his United States Tag Team title. I have mentioned it before. Cheryl Nicholson is part of the crusade. Cheryl Nicholson looking to bring the Divas title home to the Crusade tonight. This is one of three opportunities for the Crusade to bring whole championship gold. And Cheryl Nicholson, like I said, she was able to, all four of these ladies that qualified in this match, defeating four other women in this, four other talented women in the women's division. Cheryl Nicholson has picked up some momentum going into six cents, I would say. Cheryl Nicholson could possibly be the very first Divas Champion here in North American League Wrestling. As you see, the next lady making her way down the ring, Lilith. Lilith has also picked up some impressive wins here and some momentum here in North American Elite Wrestling. Lilith calls herself the powerhouse of the North American Elite Wrestling Division. And Lilith could possibly, like I said, well, any one of these ladies possibly could be the very first Divas Champion. We are looking at one of the very first, whoever one of these four will be, the Divas Champion. Lilith, uh, just, just a force to be reckoned with here in the Divas Division. We've seen some power and strength by Lilith. Only matched by the loud and proud Chantal Queen who's also in this match. The fan favorite and the betting odds say that Alexandria Marie is gonna be the winner of this, the winner and what the first ever Divas Champion. So Chantel Queen is about to come out. Lilith, Cheryl Nicholson all have something to prove tonight. To the fans at home, to, to the betters, to the people making the bet odds. Chantel Queen, loud and proud, the fan favorite in this match. Chantel Queen, the fans are off their feet for Chantel Queen. This lady, like I said, loud and proud and not afraid two minutes. And as you see, Chantel Queen, she has this connection with the fans that I can't explain. But Chantel Queen, the fans, when her music hits, as you see Chantel Queen, she has She's just a connection with the fans that I can't explain. Chantel Queen, with the NAW Divas Division would not be anything without Chantel Queen. One of the starters of this division, for sure. Chantel Queen now has a chance to cement herself in history as being the very first Divas Champion. But here she comes now, pop star, Alexandria Marie. No relation to Dom Marie, who we seen to be earlier tonight. But like I mentioned, Alexandria Marie, the fan favorite, Chantel Queen, Lilith looking on the outside of the ring, and Alexandria Marie, straight from Hollywood, California. I wonder if she ever sees Marcus Matrix there. And Alexandria Marie, like I said, not only is she, she has been selected by fans and predictions and polls to be the, the very first Divas Champion. Betting odds have put money on Alexandria Marie. I don't know where Alexandria Marie, where, 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 she, where her name comes from. She, she, all these ladies to me have made their names even smaller independence than here. But this is the elite. The elite of the independence. The elite of the legends. The elite of just wrestling in general. North American Elite Wrestling. The ladies division growing every day in North American Elite Wrestling. 
the North American Elite Wrestling, the ring bells for the very first ever Divas title match here in North American Elite Wrestling, and we are underway. We got uh, Jamie Marie and Chantel Queen locking up. We also have the Chantel Queen, uh, uh, Alexandria Marie and Shell Nicholson locking up, and Chantel Queen and Lilith. Lo oh, Chantel Queen throwing the powerhouse into of, of the Divas Division, so-called powerhouse Lilith, into the ring post. And Chantel Queen now, what is she doing here? Oh, she crushes Lilith. And I think Chantel Queen trying to send a message to Lilith right away in this match. Chantel Queen, but Lilith though reversing after getting hit with those big impact moves. Lilith able to reverse, impressive. You see Alexandria Marie as Chantel Queen drives her face down into the mat. This match is elimination style. The very first ever Divas Champion about to be crowned here tonight. And Alexandria Marie stomping Chantel Nicholson down that corner and then a knee to the throat. Alexandria Marie throwing down Lilith, or Chantel Queen, I should say. I'm sorry, every, all these ladies, so excited in this match. Get excited around also to these, these ladies, beautiful ladies, all of them. And Chantel Queen throwing that, just body, back body dropping Lilith. Cheryl Nicholson able to reverse Alexandria Marie on the other side of the ring. And it's hard to call two matches at once, and I'm trying my best, everybody. But it's actually just one big match, but it's like it's two matches at once. We've seen Lilith and Chantel Queen square off since the beginning. The same can be said for Cheryl Nicholson and Alexandria Marie. And Lilith behind Chantel Queen, but no. Chantel Queen able to get behind Lilith, and a big crummy blow to the back. And Chantel Queen leaves the feet. Lilith, a big drop kick on Lilith. Chantel Queen. Oh, and just using her. Big, just that big thigh and knee against against the back of Lil's neck into the rope. Chantel Queen now. We've seen her do this before. She calls this the Love and Proud March. And here it comes all oh, the Love and Proud March. It blah 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 the Love and Proud Slam. One, two. Chantel Queen no! I thought she eliminated with Lilith, but Lilith kicks out at two. Look! Showing some resiliency here. I don't think anyone has ever kicked out that low and proud slam. Chantel Queen looking for another cover on Lil, but Lil, oh, Lil kicks out at one now. Lil, the powerhouse in the women's division. She says she's gonna try to, try to, oh my God. She was able to pick up Lil there. What, with, with just Lil's arm and neck and head. She was able to choke Lil, or Chantel Queen up for a second. Lil, impressive. Aluta is pressed by Cheryl Nicholson and Alexandria Maria. And then Lola kicks to the face of Chantel Queen. And an Indian deadlock by Chantel Queen. We've seen this before by Chantel Queen. Judo, judo toss by Lola on, Alex, on, Cheryl, on Chantel Queen. And that's very smart. Using Chantel Queen's own weight and body against her. And Alexandria Maria almost getting covered a two count. I don't know what Cheryl Nicholson hit with though, but that was almost it for Alexandria Maria. And Alexandria Maria now telling Cheryl Nicholson to get up. Lola picks up Chantel Queen. Big grappling, just grapples the whole body down. Chases up like a heart attack. Lola has a cover on Chantel Queen, but only getting one, maybe possibly two. And a snap shot by Alexandria Maria. One, two, three, Cheryl Nelson kicks out a snap shot. Lilith, oh, only getting two to the Chantel Queen. Near falls everywhere in this match. As these divas, oh, none of these divas want to give it up. I think I've seen every diva that came with a near fall so far. Alexander Marie with a small package on Cheryl Nelson. Cheryl Nelson reverses a small package with two of her own. One, two, I'm Cheryl Nelson now getting reversed. And look, and Alexander Marie was getting covered. And oh, Lola just got covered with a huge crossbody by Chantel Queen. And just, oh my God, the near falls. Lola got covered after all that. Lola with an impressive showing here, but she will not be the very first ever Divas champion of six, here at Sixth Sense. It's gonna be Alexandria Marie, Cheryl Nicholson, or Chantel Queen. Full Nelson by Cheryl Nicholson. Alexandria Marie looking on at Chantel Queen. 
I think the two blondes are smart in this match. They would attack Chantel Queen. And I don't mean to call them blondes in any obligatory way. I mean the two ladies with blonde hair in this match. But they were smart. They would be attacking Chantel Queen. Not because they're blonde, but because of the smart thing to do. Chantel Queen is a powerhouse in that match. All right, eliminating one person. Chantel Queen looking for a second elimination. Again, two on Cheryl Nicholson, a near fall again. The resiliency shown by Cheryl Nicholson here. And double suplex, Chantel Queen slam down to the match. Shen Alexander Marie tells show off. And now Chantel Queen gets pinned. The double suplex, enough for Alexander Marie. And I think we see her looking for that suplex summer. And I don't know what Cheryl Nicholson calls that, but using her legs. The takedown, only getting two on Alexandria Marie. Close two count there. And Alexandria Marie now getting kicked in the face by Cheryl Nicholson. Cheryl Nicholson and Alexandria Marie. One of these two ladies, both showing great resiliency in this match, will be the very first ever Divas Champion. And, oh, stop shot! Oh, no way! Alexandria Marie! Pauses for the camera! Alexander Marie! One, two, three! Alexander Marie just makes everybody a lot of money at home! Alexander Marie is the Divas Champion! As you see it with the cover, that, that springboard into a snapshot! The Divas Division is impressing me here! Oh my god! And Alexander Marie walks away as the very first ever Divas Champion! Alexander Marie! celebrating the ring and I gotta say the odds might have been in her favor as what the betting says what the fans have said all four of those ladies showed me that any one of them at this point could have walked out of this match as the Divas champion but Alexandria Marie celebrating and rightfully so I must say Alexandria Marie the very first ever Divas champion here in North American Elite Wrestling and I gotta say I am proud I am proud of those four women they have nothing to be ashamed about we have to move on. Alexandra Marie, the Divas Champion. We have to move on. The Maple Leaf Championship, the Fatal 4-Way TLC, the situation between Aussie Andy and Cash Corporation, which now involves Al Cabrera, over the last few, ever since Lord of the Elite Wrestling pretty much started, ever since Second in Command, someone even say ever since, ever since the very first ever show, upcoming, upstart, that these men have had problems. The Maple Leaf Champion, Connor James, just won the Maple Leaf title from Al Cabrera on the Christmas Showdown show. Connor James, his very first title, single, singles major title here, and Carl, the Maple Leaf champion, gonna be held high against his own tag team partner, Lamarcus Carter. And we've already heard Cash Corporation. We heard that those, both those men have announced that this is all about the Maple Leaf title tonight. And there might be some commodity teamwork, but when it comes down to it, it'll be for the Maple Leaf title, and only that alone. Connor James, the Maple Leaf champion. Connor James, we've seen him go. Well, I will just by out say it off the script here on Collaboration Episode 2 about North American Elite Wrestling. Connor James, Connor James, Connor James, words, Connor James, please, Connor James, what he had to say has been heard from the North American Elite Wrestling. He, his comments towards me has been heard. He doesn't think that I'm a serious enough commentator. He thinks that North American Elite Wrestling is a joke league. He thinks that we're all about laughs. He thinks that we're all about the corporate aliens. He's talking about Rebecca Lee's not being able to get her own theme song. As Aussie Andy making his way down the ring. One of the challengers here for Connor James' title. Connor James and Aussie Andy. We see Connor James defeat Aussie Andy in a steel cage at five golden rings with the help of Lamarcus Carter. We also see Lamarcus Carter defeat Aussie Andy at the help at, at uh, four score. Get the help of Connor James. Aussie Andy has been itching and crawling for a shot here at the Maple Leaf Championship. Connor James. And Aussie Andy was also robbed in the world title shot because of Lamarcus Carter. And Aussie Andy maybe could have been world champion here. The very first in North American League Wrestling has a chance to win the Maple Leaf title tonight now. As you see Al Capurra now making his way down the ring. The former Maple Leaf champion. If you are wondering what flag that is on Aussie Andy, by the way, and we have to ask if you really have to ask that. That's obviously the Australian flag, everybody. As you can see some of the things that I'm told through the headset just doesn't make sense. Why would I tell the fans at home that? I think the fans have figured out Aussie Andy is obviously wearing the Australian flag in his attire. As Connor James comes out dressed in the colors of Canada, the very first ever Maple Leaf champion, trying to become a two-time Maple Leaf champion here tonight. Al Cabrera from the great state of New York. New York, New York, from the Big Red Apple is, from the Big Apple, Al Cabrera hails. 
Al Cabrera, a, a, a rookie last year in Kaw, has shown just what a great year and a half this man has lately had. He debuted in 2018. 2018, Al Cabrera really broke out. Al Cabrera says in 2020, he will be world champion somewhere. And I believe that is possibly, that is probably gonna happen for Al Cabrera. What happened in North American Elite Wrestling? I don't know if it's gonna happen this year, but right now Al Cabrera looking for the Maple Leaf title in 2020. As you see the fourth man making his way down the ring, a man who is a legend in call, a man who's a veteran in call, love Marcus Carter. This man competes on WEDF NXT, WCW legend, World Call Wrestling legend, WCW, Lamarcus Carter. New WWE legend also, Lamarcus Carter. This man has one goal everywhere he has. This man is a former New AW Central Zone champion, a former, a former New WWE Inter a former New WWE United States champion. Lamarcus Carter has done it all in CAW almost. Also, Lamarcus Carter, a viable challenge that you gotta imagine for that WDF NXT championship. Over on that brand, Connor James, the Maple Leaf champion, in the ring with his tag team partner, Cash Corporation. Like I said, these two men, there might be teamwork and some commodity between them tonight, but when it comes down to it, it will be about who walks away with the Maple Leaf title. As you can see here, the referee getting ready to hold up that Maple Leaf championship and put it above these four men. Al Cabrera, LaMarcus Carter, Aussie Andy, the Maple Leaf champion, Connor James, the referee put a title beam maze right now, and there it is. The referee, the belt hung, the, the bell's rung, the match is underway. And surprisingly, right well away, Cash Corporation go after each other. I think maybe that teamwork was just was just getting the both of the head. Like I said, Connor James and Marcus Carter cannot be trusted. As Al Cabrera and Ossiani fight on the outside of the ring. Al Cabrera throws Ossiani back in the ring. But Connor James and Marcus Carter, as you see, turn on each other. But Marcus Carter tries to catch Connor James with an elbow on the outside of the ring, but missed. And as you can see there, Lamarcus Carter surprised, but, but laughing a little bit at Connor James. And both those men immediately attacking each other right away. And Connor James wants to go for a ladder, but decided to leave it on the outside of the ring as, as he goes after Aussie Andy, who was about to go after him. I think that's why he didn't grab that ladder. I knew he wouldn't, he wouldn't have time to grab it and set it up without Andy getting a good attack on him. All four of these men now back in the ring. The, T the, Maple, Leaf, the Maple Leaf Championship being defended here in the TLC match. Al Cabrera missing a spin wheel kick. Aussie Andy snap mirroring Connor James down. Delivering a big elbow to the back of Connor James' head. And Aussie Andy would love to take that title away from Connor James. Would love to take that title away. That, that belt and win it from Lamarcus Carter also. Because Aussie Andy has been fighting the the the, the chances that Andy, Lamarcus Carter, and Connor James have all taken away from each other, I think all these men are, ha, want this to end. And I think here in the TLC it finally will. With a draft split happening, it almost has to. Al Cabrera wants to win his Maple Leaf Championship back. Would love to do it and take the title back from Connor James. Connor James and Al Cabrera has a rivalry that started up in, since almost maybe Al Cabrera and Connor James first met each other here in CAW. Same could be almost said for Connor James and Aussie Andy. Aussie Andy and Connor James is a few that has gone across the world. We've seen them wrestle in cages. We've seen them wrestle in and, and, and just street fights. We've seen all these men. Now they're wrestling here at TLC. Lamarcus Carter driving Al Cabrera's face down to the ring mat or the outside bat mat with that huge sit out face buster. And Andy and, and, Andy and Connor James on the top of that ladder. These two men now fighting on the top of that ladder. Sunset flip over bottom, oh my god! And what is Aussie Andy doing? Connor James is feeling that one! And I just can't believe what I have seen. What these men will do to be the Maple Leaf champion. The winner of this match will go obviously on to the Canadian Aggression brand. The All-American Championship, the counterpart, the Maple Leaf title. We see Nate Farron retain the title early. Which one of these men now will go to their brand and be the main, and the main Seagulls champion? And as you see, Al Cabrera set up a ladder here. Uh, Marcus Carter knocking Al Cabrera down with a belly-to-back suplex. Aussie Annie, and I, oh, Connor James getting uh, LaMarcus Carter pushed. Did you see that? I don't know if that was being 
if that was smart or if that was teamwork, but LaMarcus Carter pushed Connor James off the ladder before ducking the whole ladder over, where Connor James could easily took in a huge fall, along with Andy. Carter, I think, take, thinking of his teammate there. But Cash Corporation, though, down. Al Cabrera and, and Aussie Andy. As you can see now, Al Cabrera knocks over the ladder and knocks Al Andy off the ladder, because this is not a tag team match. This is for the Maple Leaf title. Connor James has the arm and wrist of Al Cabrera, the wrist control of Connor James. And the ladder right to Andy. Oh my God. LaMarcus Carter. LaMarcus Carter. Six foot seven, LaMarcus Carter. Connor James into Gary on Al Cabrera. Connor James has a, has a, has a strong style, a brawling style, like everything that he, he does, so snug and so hard. Andy now with the ladder. Andy nails it on LaMarcus Carter. And he gets some revenge. Andy nails Carter James and, and, and Al Cabrera at the same time. Didn't get much of a hit though. Almost an annoyance. Al Cabrera had the ladder and nailed Andy with it. Then nailing Carter in the back of the head with the ladder. Carter James bringing a second ladder in this match. And the steamroller on Carter James by LaMarcus Carter. Lamarcus Carter, now! Carter James getting up! Lamarcus Carter! What's I gonna do here? Lamarcus Carter! Saving Grace! Oh my god! On the ladder! Taking Carter James on finisher! And these better tag team partners! If he's willing to do that to his own partner for the Maple Leaf title, what would you imagine he would do to Andy or Al Cabra? Judo toss, to knocking down Carter James. And Connor James now somehow chop blocking Marcus Carter down. Uh, and he's got a ladder. Al's got a table. Connor James in between them. I don't think that's play. Connor immediately realized that rolls back in the ring. Now Cash Corporation both grab ladders. Marcus Carter though grab the ladder. Use his ladder on Connor James. Suplex on two. Or suplex on a, on a nothing. Just a suplex on an Al Cabrera. I should have said. So much weapons being used. Marcus Carter missing a bicycle kick. And Aussie Andy looks to be going for the Aussie bomb. Nails an Aussie bomb. Oh my God! Al Cabrera's head at the back. The back of his head at the table. And Al Cabrera, I, I think Andy realized that. Now they a huge neck breaker. You know, if, if, if he doesn't break a guy's neck, it could concuss a guy. The impact of that move. Al Cabrera, though, gets up and nails a big spinning wheel kick. I think just, just throwing his body out there. Al Cabrera down somebody. Al now set up a ladder on the outside of the ring. Al decides against that, knocks it out. Oh my god! And Al just eats the ladder! Getting flat jacked on the ladder on the outside of the ring! And I think Andy was gonna do a death knight driver onto the ladder! But no! And oh my god! Andy did not flapjack! Connor James tips up! Connor James, show the tackle on the Marcus Carter! Connor James, show the tackle on the Marcus Carter! Connor James! Spinning back Powerbomb! Spin out Powerbomb by Connor James on LaMarcus Carter's own tag team partner. Connor James! Oh, downward spiral! And first, does, does LaMarcus Carter go right into the ladder that was set up? Oh my god! Connor James! And as I see Andy now, has LaMarcus Carter up. Oh my god! Just throwing a flapjack right onto the steel chair face first, Carter goes! And I think, I think Carter James was gonna send Al Cabrera through that ladder, but I think he realized that if he did that, there would be no ladder in the ring. Oh, and Carter James, the steel chair nails Andy and Al Cabrera. Obviously, Andy was close to that title belt, but you've seen, he's seen Connor James grab that chair, got ready to swing, try to avoid it, but didn't. Al Cabrera, big drop kick to Connor James. Connor James actually landed on a chair, but gets up. Oh, I think Connor James wishes he would have stayed down. Spinning, two spinning neck breakers, both the Cash Corporation by Andy and Al Cabrera, respectively. I think, oh my god, double D, oh my god! That DDT on two chairs! That DDT on two different chairs! Al Cabrera's body's got to be feeling that one by Connor James. 
What a TLC here at Sixth Sense. Oh, and did you see that? But Marcus Carter knocked Andy off the ladder and Andy fell back on Carter. And oh, Russian leg sweep by, by Al Cabrera. Al Cabrera, he could be looking for the detonator. But his stun kicks Carter to the back of the head. Maybe not maybe calling out for the detonator. Oh, Hannah walk into a stop on that arm. Al Cabrera, he's looking for the detonator. He sure can spot, but he can nail it. Yes, he can. Al Cabrera nails the detonator. Oceani has the belt. No, Oceani. Australian splash from the top of the ladder. Oceani goes five, 15 feet in the air. Al Cabrera has the Maple Leaf title, but no, Carl James is up there to stop him. Uppercut by Carl James. Uppercut by Al Cabrera. Drives Connor James' head down into the ladder. Connor James now to the back of the neck door. Oh no, Al Cabrera! Al Cabrera! Oh my God! He just tossed Al Cabrera into the ladder. Connor James has the Maple Leaf title. I see Andy though stops him. I see Andy tosses the ladder down. I see Andy has everybody down. He Connor James crashed down into a ladder. Connor's down. Al's down. Connor James is down. But my ass Connor gets back up. I'll see Andy on top of that ladder. Oh my God! Spinning neck breaker from I'll see Andy on the car crashes 15 feet down to the mat. Connor James. I see Andy the house. The car James realizes I'll see Andy's on top of the ladder. Suplex down the bra. Connor James looks to close the ladder, but it's too late. I'll see Andy has won the Maple Leaf title here tonight at six cents. And that Cash Corporation. After weeks, ever since this season has started, has been screwing Andy week after week, tough shot after shot, and it's all finally worth it for Ozzy Andy because he can say he has won not just the Maple Leaf title, but the Maple Leaf title from Cash Corporation's own Connor James. Ozzy Andy was the Maple Leaf title for a man he has been feuding with for two, over two years. Something that's gone longer since the existence of North American Elite Wrestling. Ozzy Andy, as you've seen the replay, Crashes down, one Marcus Carter 15 feet down. Carter James suplex on Al Cabrera doesn't realize it. Al, as Ozzy Andy falls down, Al, Carter James looks to climb the ladder. As he looks down, he realizes his rival, his opponent, has the Maple Leaf title. Ozzy Andy, the new Maple Leaf champion. The fans are on their feet. And what, what, what is showing by all four men? Connor James, this Maple Leaf title reign might not have lasted long. But how can something last long when you see four superstars in a match get it their all? Four highly main event caliber superstars. But you see Al Ozzy Andy climbing that ladder, holds up the Maple Leaf title. The fans are on their feet. Ozzy Andy, the Maple Leaf champion. Ozzy Andy, the Maple Leaf champion. Ozzy Andy wins. TLC here tonight at six cents. We have to move on for on this amazing show. Aussie Andy, the Maple Leaf champion. Now it's time to contest. Who will go in the the aggression black? I'm the the showdown brand as the United States Tag Team Champions. As you see the United States Tag Team Champions right now, TJ Nicholson, Norm Daly, two members of the Crusade coming out right now. The United States Tag Team Champions of Crusade. Defeated four other teams in a 16-team tournament finals. In a 16-team tournament, won four matches in that ma in that tournament to win the United States Tag Team titles. This is actually their very first ever United States Tag Team title defense tonight. Their challengers, the tag team of Smokey and Andrew Hunter. We've seen Smokey, the call legend, and call veteran, team up with Andrew Hunter, who's a call veteran himself, at five Golden Rings, and both their men's debut for North American Elite Wrestling. Both those men were able to defeat Chris Snyder and Nate Farron in their debut. Winning this United States Tag Team title shock tonight. We've seen Andrew Hunter and Smokey work as a great team. They're able to beat the bloodline before they were going to have the Canadian Tag Team Champions on that episode of, uh, on an episode of aggression. Nate, Fer as, as you see, Andrew Hunter making his way down the ring, and Andrew Hunter, he he himself looking to to make a statement here in North American League Wrestling, looking to become. United States Tag Team Champion with Call Legend and Call Bearer and Smokey. What, what accolade that would be for his career of things that he has already done. Andrew Hunter is a decorated 
to preserve himself over over eight years in call. As you can see now, Smokey making his way down the ring. The Young Blood Lions, the leader, formerly Smokey. And Smokey, the call veteran, the call legend here at Six Sense, looking to possibly win the United States Tag Team Title Tournament. And if you didn't hear on the on Twitter.com slash NAW Danny Jackpot, my Twitter itself, I announced because I represent NAW that this match was announced to be a tornado tag team match for the United States Tag Team Titles tonight. So that was an, that was an extra last minute stipulation at this match. Smokey and Andrew Hunter, the Crusade. United States Tag Team Titles, Tornado Tag Team Rules. Will Smokey and Andrew Hunter as the crowd on their feet for Smokey. Smokey, a call legend. Smokey possibly could look to add on to his resume. The current GFGN, money in the bank, is Smokey. Smokey, decorated call career, former WDF United States Champion. Has one new WWE gold. Has one gold almost in every, in every organization Smokey has ever competed for. As you see referee Charles Adams looking to hold up those United States Tag Team titles. Those coveted United States Tag Team titles are currently held by the Crusade. Tornado Tag Team rules, the Crusade, Smokey, Andrew Hunter, the bell has rung, and this match is underway. And looks like we got Smokey and TJ Nicholson locking up, and Norm the, Dorm, Norm the Storm Daly and Andrew Hunter locking up in this matchup to start off. And just what a card we have seen tonight. We've seen a new Divas Champion crown in the very first ever in Alexandria Marie. We had just seen a new Maple Leaf Champion crown in Aussie Andy. We hope, I think Smokey and Andrew Hunter are looking to also make another title change happen tonight. Also tonight, we have seen the Canadian Tag Team Champions of Bloodline retain their titles. Monster Messiah, the new Brutality Champion. A Farron was able to retain his All-American title. What the Crusader are looking to do is retain their American Championships to the United States Tag Titles tonight. Also tonight, one final match to the main event, Hell in a Cell, Fatal 4-Way, NAW Championship, Suspect, Extreme Tony, Joe Omega, Lester Barkley. As Norman Storm daily with the cover, only getting one on Andrew Hunter. Overcut on Smokey by TJ Nicholson. And I think Smokey and Andrew Hunter are possibly the favorites to win this match tonight. TJ Nicholson. A man who was actually in the very first ever World Heavyweight Championship match in North American League Wrestling, the NAW Championship Fatal 4-Way. They turned the very first ever champion, Andrew Hunter. A move that some people would call the sort of twist on Norm the Storm Daily. And it looks like Andrew Hunter and Smokey snap control. Smokey with, ooh, just, just whipping. TJ Nicholson using, using momentum and using physics right there almost. Gravity says if you're going to whip a man one way, using a rope, he's going he's to rebound back and go this way. Right? And TJ Nichols with a big neck breaker though. And Norm the Storm Daily, TJ Nicholson. I bet you they'll be cheering on their crusade leader, Joe Omega, later. Smokey again almost tossed out of the ring, able to hold on. TJ Nicholson though. He rolls out of the ring. Oh! Catching it. Go oh, and did you see that? He had actually talked Smokey right to the steel steps. But on the outside of the ring, TJ Nicholson, creative, innovative. Ian e. Nicholson is. And Smokey with a big roundhouse kick though on the outside of the ring. Don't forget, this is not false coming anywhere. So right now, Norman Storm Daly and Andrew Hunter, the only two men in this match right now that can win it for their team. Norman Storm Daly with a huge bold load to Andrew Hunter in the ring. Norman Storm Daly knocks out Andrew Hunter down to his knees. Then a huge DDT. He actually just spiked Andrew Hunter's head into the mat right there. Norman Storm Daly looking for a cover actually. Maybe went too far into it because he only got one. Not even, almost a two, but I think it took too long to get into the cover. As TJ and Smokey are fighting up the ramp here. And Norma Storm has TJ, and, and TJ though, just throwing TJ down the mat after a huge knee to the gut. Top row, oh my god, perfect stop from the top rope. The impact, oh my god, and the hailstorm by, the, oh my god, a hailstone. And the cut, I can't believe it's a crusade. Makes quick work. A Smokey and Andrew Hunter. I, I think Smokey's in shock. He gets up. He can't believe it. The bell's rung. The Crusade. Norm the Storm Daily with a super. The super perfect storm on the top rope. Look at this in the replay. The cut rope. Do you see the cut rope? Now by, look at this. T.J. Nicholson. Bam. Now Smokey in the outside of the ring. The cut rope. 
and the perfect storm on the top rope. Gonna storm daily on this way, crashing on the back of TJ Nelson's neck. The Crusade dominant here at six cents in the very first ever United States Tag Team title defense. Looking on the storm, able to, to, to defeat Andrew Hunter. I'm gonna say with ease. Yeah, I think he went, went, went for it all in a quick big move because if he wouldn't have hit that move with the with the fight that TJ and Smokey was doing, that would have put Norman Storm in a bad spot. The Crusade able to defend their tag team titles here tonight. As you can see, TJ Nicholson is just hyped up as always. Norman Storm daily, a veteran now in Call You would say. Just as a veteran, but so much accolades behind Norm. So much accolades behind TJ. Able to hold up these, those United States Tag Team titles and proudness as they actually defeated Andrew Hunter and, uh, wait a second, Smokey in the ring. Asking, hey, what was that? Smokey saying he's done with Andrew Hunter, what? Smokey waiting off Hunter like he's nothing. Smokey disappointed. Smokey can't believe what he had just seen. Smokey, I don't think he believes, knows why his match ended so quickly. Smokey disappointed, but we have to move on. The NAEW Championship match, the fatal four-way Hell in a Cell. Suspect defends his title against the Crusade leader, Joe Omega. The Playmaker Extreme Tony and the Devious, LaMarcus, or the Devious, Lester Barkley. As you can see, the NAEW Champion, the Suspect. He defeated Mason Chronic in an I Quit match. Loser leaves town match. Loser leaves town I Quit match. If you quit, you don't just quit. There, and you don't just quit the match, you quit the company. You don't, and you guys also, Mason Craig in his case, quit being the NAEW champion. When he announced, I quit, to the suspect, at the holiday New Year's showdown show. The suspect, the NAEW champion of, the, the champion of North American League Wrestling, looks to defend his title here at the main event at six cents. Fail four way hell in a cell. Fail four way should always be tricky. The suspect only has a 25% opportunity. The, we walk away with this championship, we walk away in this match as champion. And we've already seen so many other titles change hands tonight in multiple title matches. Actually, in every Fatal 4 ways match tonight, we've seen a new champion. Or in every multi-man match tonight, we've seen a new champion. Other than Nate Ferry, who was able to defend his title on Triple Threat. So I guess I'm wrong in that set. But, but, but Nate Ferry is the only man in all the multi-man matches tonight able to hold on to his championship. The suspect looks to be the man to do it tonight in the main event. The suspect. A five-time and a five-time world champion in Kong has done it in, D in DCWL, has done it in the ESC, has now, now has now done it in AEW. Member of the WDF roster is suspect. As you see, a member of the CXWI roster. Now, the CXWI World Heavyweight Champion, the man who won Crash and Burn Rumble number seven in CXWI, Buster Barkley. This man has been feuding with Extreme Tony. These two men have been going at each other's throats in parking lots, have been brawling. Lester Barkley turned on the Extreme Tony at five golden rings, the United States Tag Team title match. I'm excited for this one. Fail four way hell in a cell. That cell's gonna come down when all four of these men get in the ring. And then only and then with the first man to get a cover. The first man is gonna score a decision over somebody. Let it be pinfall or submission. Will be crowned the NAEW champion going into season one of North American League Wrestling. Mason Chronic, the only other other than NAEW champion other than the suspect. As you can see, Lester Barkley, one of the scariest looking men in the North American League Wrestling roster. This man very well could be the NAEW champion after tonight. That's like I said, the CXWI World Heavyweight Champion currently, Lester Barkley. He is for real. Lester Barkley looking to start off 2020 with a bang. Looking to win the, looking to win the NAEW championship tonight. As you can see, a man, one of the two men that was originally scheduled for this match, a, 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 touch, a point that I was about to hit for Extreme Tony and Lester Barkley. These two men were originally scheduled in a one-on-one -on -one match for this event, but because of the powers that be and the, everything that happened at the Holiday Showdown show, we have now decided to make this fatal four-way. We don't take out of a match, we add on to a match here in North American League Wrestling. We were just gonna take Mason Chronic out of this. We're gonna add on two more. And two more like Lester Barkley and Extreme Tony, both men who have competed for the NAEW Championship before. Joe Omega has also competed for the NAW Championship before. All three of these men have competed for this title before. The Suspect, in his very first shot at the title, won it. I quit match. Some would say with ease. The Suspect, the NAW Champion currently, staying in the ring. Joe Omega, 
making his entrance down to the ring right now. <coughs> and Joe Omega has been at the top of the mountain in other leagues. In OPW, he has been at the top of the mountain. And new in AW, he is top of the West Coast division there. The West Coast mountain there. The West Coast champion. A world heavyweight title in new in AW. Joe Omega looking to win his third title. His, his, a, a third a world title tonight and a third brand. As the Playmaker Extreme Tony, the call veteran, the call legend, the Playmaker Extreme Tony has won world titles everywhere he's gone. New NAW, New WWE, XGWL, CCL, Extreme Tony is, but why well, I said Lester Barkley is for real, this man is not just for real, he's legitimately for real, you can say. This Extreme Tony has been there, he's done that. There's a reason why. The Playmaker is called the Playmaker. Tonight, he has been given a big play. He's looking to make it, make an opportunity happen for Extreme Tony. The fans on their feet for the Playmaker, the Call Veteran, the Call Legend, Extreme Tony. Pyro goes off the explosion, Extreme Tony. He sure, he sure knows how to excite the fans here at NAEW. He sure knows how to excite the fans worldwide. Extreme Tony fans worldwide. As you can see, Joe Omega, Lester Barkley on the outside of the ring, staring on Extreme Tony. Suspect has not gone out of the ring for either the men of the, either entrance of either men. The suspect believes that this yard is now his. The suspect has said that, that now that he is the big dog, that this is his yard now. That the suspect is on top of the mountain. He is not a joke. He was able to prove it against Mason Chronic. Mason Chronic, the dominant champion before. So suspect knocked him off with almost ease, like I said. As you can see, the referee holding up the NAW championship, Joe Omega. Extreme Tony, Lester Barkley, the champion, the suspect. The crowd on their feet. The, the crowd, the, the cell being lowered right here. As you can see, the cell being lowered. What an amazing angle here. As you can see, the crowd excited. The cell has been lowered. The, the match is about to start. The bell has rung. And here we go. Fatal four way. Man event. Six cents. The last match of the pilot season. And the final match here for six cents. The main event again. The world championship on the line. Lester Barkley locked up with Joe Omega, the world champion, the suspect. Extreme Tony locked up with each other. And could you imagine Extreme Tony and the suspect? The matches these men have had, only one over their entire course, of their entire career, with a tables match. This will be the second time ever that Extreme Tony and the suspect will be in the very same match. Joe Omega, Lester Barkley. They have experience with each other in six-man tag team matches. The Crusade and Lester Barkley and Extreme Tony has also done battle. Don't forget, Lester Barkley and Extreme Tony have not only done battle with each other, have also worked together against the Crusade. So Lester turned on Extreme Tony, the suspect, the world champion, Joe Omega, a man who has, the man who actually set up this Hell in a Cell, the man who originally put the challenge out for a Hell in a Cell. If it wasn't for Joe Omega, there wouldn't be a cell surrounding these men right now. Joe Omega and a neck breaker on Lester Barkley. Extreme Tony has suspected an arm ringer. Joe Omega, high impact on Lester Barkley. Nailing a big belly to back suplex. Tony with the suspect off the ropes. Extreme Tony with a sling blade on the suspect. Extreme Tony now delivering his huge shots to the back of the suspect. Lester Barkley has Joe Omega looking for a suplex. Nails Joe Omega with a suplex. Don't forget, this cell is supposed to make sure the Crusade is left out of this match. Joe Omega wants to be able to prove that he can win this match all by himself. And Joe Omega wants to be able to prove that no one will take him seriously if he doesn't win this NAW championship all by himself. That's why he wanted this cell. Joe Omega also didn't think that he, that he was worthy of another heavyweight championship shot. But we've already seen him lose at a five Golden Rings main event. We've already seen the suspect now beat Joe Omega. We, you could some say that was a little bit with a, a, a little nonsense. we also seen Joe Omega lose. Another match, a six-man tag team title, a six-man tag team match. Joe Omega has no momentum going into this. Extreme Tony knocks down the suspect. Extreme Tony has also not been on the most uh, on the most win and loss record since Lester Barkley and him have been going at it. Lester Barkley, we've seen him defend the CXWI World Heavyweight title on the very last episode of Underground. Mr. Barkley wants to, be, wants to be at the top of the mountain, not just NCXWI, but here, in North American Elite Wrestling. He says he's the best of fantasy, now he's the best of original. Whatever that means. Suspect with a big slam on Extreme Tony. And drop kick by Suspect. 
cover on Tony. That I think Lester Barkley and Joe Omega was both right there to break it up. Sling Blade once again by Extreme Tony on the suspect. And Joe Omega, big knee on the suspect. He goes right back after Lester. Tony picks up suspect and then drops him right back down with an elbow to the head. Shoulder, shoulder blocked by, by Joe Omega and then a huge clothesline. The wrist control by Joe Omega right there into that clothesline. Joe Omega, he keeps him the gut caught in the gut. The suspect kips up on Extreme Tony. Big suspect line. And now suspect, now shorter suspect line. Short arm suspect line. Big back over by Lester Barkley. Joe Omega getting behind him though. Suspect knocking down the playmaker Extreme Tony. Joe Omega with some British hammers there. Double axe handles by Joe Omega. And then just total the world slam knocking down Lester Barkley, the bigger man. Joe Omega got some power himself. Suspect now, spine buster on Extreme Tony. I don't know how much power he had behind that, but we don't know. Some of a good spine buster on Tony there. The suspect. Tony though drops down to his knees and a huge uppercut on the suspect. Lester Barkley goes straight, boxing with some jabs to the body of Joe Omega. Joe Omega going for that Union Jack stunner. Joe Omega, your Union Jack stunner by Joe Omega. One. Suspect, there two, no, only in two. Suspect was able to break that up. The main event of Six Sense, the fail four-way hell in a cell. Which one of these men will walk out of this cell with the NAW championship around their waist? Only a one count by referee, Joe Omega, and one of the champion, the suspect. Lester Barkley, fall away, Sam on extreme, Tony. Suspect the big knee, just knee to Joe Omega's arm. Going for it again. Another fall away slam by Lester Barkley on Extreme Tony once again. The power of Lester Barkley is scary dominant. And now Lester Barkley with a sidewalk slam on Extreme Tony. And then a big leg drop on Extreme Tony. These two men, like I said, have been going at it for the last few weeks. I'm sure one of these two men wouldn't just like to put over, wouldn't just like to win this match, but like to beat the other guy in the match for the championship. The suspect would love to retain. Joe Omega would love to cement his, cement his self. His, he said he like he said his rightful place on top. Something he's been talking about forever. Something that Joe Omega hasn't preached since the very since he has started the season off. Joe suspect with a stun left flip. Oh, no, he gave one by for extreme toy with the other. Catch it and break it up. Suspect with a quick stun left flip. And you guys don't forget, it doesn't gotta look pretty, it doesn't gotta look clean. But you just gotta get three counts to walk out of this cell as champion. Extreme Tony, looking for a playmaker on Joe Omega. He does, he nails the playmaker, crucifix by Suspect! And Extreme Tony once again, breaking it up. Suspect's quick cover there. Joe Omega was knocked down with the playmaker. But, but Lester Barkley, going for enough cover on Joe. Lester Barkley, Joe Omega had enough time to cover. Recover, only getting caught at two on. A, a, a quick two, do. Joe, Joe, showing some resiliency there at that two count. Lester Barkley with a big reverse DDT on Joe Omega. And Extreme Tony and Suspect both realize it and break it up. Tony though, forearm. Tony now clothesline. Extreme Tony. Extreme Tony with a big, just, just face buster by Tony on the Suspect. That was huge. The impact of Tony. That done like by Tony. And oh, he landed on Joe Omega. Bring up the cover. Tony now. Looking for cover his own. Joe, suspect kicks out a two. Suspect able to hold on to his title. Playmaker by Extreme Tony. Joe Omega kicks out a two. Don't worry, Joe Omega and Lester Barkley both up. Break up the, the cover. And that might have been it for the suspect. Getting hit with the playmaker there. One of these three men will walk out of this cell with the championship. All three, all three of these men showing, all four of these men showing great wherewithal. All three of these men, great challenger for the suspect. The headlock and a Tony into a neck breaker looks to be yes, Lester Barkley. And suspect was able to get Joe Omega up for a T-bone, not nailing all of it like he wanted to. Suspect, what's he got planned here? Double under my suspect. No. Oh, reverse to a small drop by Joe Omega. 
Lesnar with a pin. Tony, I didn't see what happened there. We're only getting one. Ash Pies. Well, Tony's still having a lot of, not just showing great resiliency, but still having a lot of his, a lot, a lot of health left in this match, I would say. So maybe only on his first or second gear. And Tony, we know, has more, more gears than, the, that, that, than a slot machine. Joe Omega, the cover on the suspect. Only in two. And Lester Barkley, two-handed choke slam on Extreme Tony. Looking for a cover. Cover clutch. And I think Lester Barkley and Joe Omega both let go of the cover and the submission. Did not sure if either man would, either, would, get the, would get the win there. And not wanting to take the risk. Tony with the cover on Lester Barkley, but suspect breaks it up. The cell in a cell has been gruesome, has been tedious. What a show Six Sense has been, all the way from the kickoff, all the way to the main event. Lester Barkley stares down the suspect, stares down Tony. He makes sure suspect Joe Mayer kicks out of that move. Lester Barkley looking for that giant slam that he does, but no, he calls that the felony. The slam that he does, he does that the felony, but he reversed it. Extreme Tony now looking for a playmaker. On the suspect, nails it. Joe Omega with some elbows to Lester Barkley. And suspect kicked out of the playmaker. Joe Omega probably would not have been there in time. Only getting two. The suspect does not want to lose this world title here. And Extreme Tony with a roundhouse kick to the suspect. Joe Omega with a dragon sleeper. And both men once again letting go. There's the mission moves. Extreme Tony also had a dragon sleeper on the suspect, I believe. Suspect with a step up in Seguri. Lester Barkley looking to get a sneak and a cover on Joe Omega, I believe. Thinking that suspect wouldn't have caught that, but suspect was able to. Suspect picks up Extreme Tony. And hammer lock into a clothesline. Suspect suplex by Lester Barkley. Lester Barkley goes for a cover. Suspect. I think it was maybe going to set up that giant million dollar clothesline on that street. Tony went in that corner for it, I think. But no, had to break up the cover. Leg scissors by the suspect. The suspect now looking for a springboard. Springboard, Elbow nails it. Ball away slam. I thought he was looking for the felony. Suspect. Back suplex with the bridge. The suspect won. No, oh, Lester Barkley powers out of it. It's hard for a suspect to keep someone like Lester Barkley in a bridge like I imagine. Oh, suspect line by the suspect. Extreme Tony, drop kick. Joe Omega, Extreme Tony, head scissors into a TD, DDT. Suspect able to kick out. Extreme Tony spiking Lester Barkley. Joe Omega had to break that one up, though only getting one. The suspect now. The suspect possibly looking for the, the, the suspect's edge. Lester Barkley, no. Looking for a cover. Tony was able to kick out. Suspect edged by the world champion. One. And. Oh, I think Suspect let go of the cover because Extreme Tony had a sleeper hold. A, a, a rear naked choke, as you could say, on Lester Barkley. And did not want him to tap to that. Lester Barkley. Getting, Tony was able to kick out. Lester Barkley looking for a cover. Brian Taylor by a suspect. And Extreme Tony able to break that up. As we see now, the Lions here, we have broken out just once tonight, but twice. Lester Barkley with a big, with a big, just takes a big shot, a big punch in the face. He wound up and just took a shot to Extreme Tony there. Sucks with a headbutt in the back of the head. That was on the Extreme Tony's arm, and then a half a butterfly lock suplex. Overhead. Another fall away slam. Lester Barkley's move of the night. Lester Barkley. Oh, and not the suspect. Extreme Tony. Leg scissors by Extreme Tony. Or head scissors, I mean. No, head scissors by the suspect. Lester Barkley looking for a cover. The suspect able to break it up. This hell in a cell. Only one of these men can be the NAEW champion. Joe Omega with a big slam on Lester Barkley. Nailing a big elbow on Lester Barkley. Extreme Tony, uppercut. Extreme Tony able to break up the cover on, on by Joe Omega on Lester Barkley. Back elbow by Extreme Tony, knocking down the suspect. Joe Omega has Lester Barkley in the corner. Oh, and you can hear that chop from here, everybody. 
Lights up the arena with that chop. Shades of Ric Flair as the fans go woo. And Joe Omega looking for that Union Jack stunner on. Lester Barkley, another hesitant take down with that suspect. The suspect. I don't think he realized the Union Jack stunner just happened. Lester, the suspect realizes it was too late. The Joe Omega, Joe Omega, Joe Omega has won the NAW Championship. Joe Omega is on top of the mountain. Joe Omega, the crusade. Joe Omega is on top. And can you believe it? The suspect is in disbelief. The suspect can't believe it. The suspect didn't even catch the Union Jack Stunner. The suspect, I can't believe it. Joe Omega is your NAW champion. Joe Omega proves it. Joe Omega proves it to the world. I, I think the, the, the suspect doing that head scissors had him disoriented enough, let alone he didn't get realize the cover of Joe Omega. The suspect, no longer champion. Joe Omega, the NAW champion. Joe Omega up to his feet. The title around his waist. Joe Omega on top of the mountain here to close out the pilot season of North American Elite Wrestling. Joe Omega wins the hell in a cell. Joe Omega threw out the challenge of hell. Joe Omega stepped into hell. Joe Omega walked out of hell with something he didn't have, the NAEW Championship. And you can see the wear and tear, the, the effects of this match is Joe Omega celebrates. The fans are actually on their feet. Joe Omega's crowning moment here in North American Elite Wrestling. The fans are on their feet. I can't believe it. What a show. Danny Jack has to... Wait, who's that? Run the storm. TJ Nicholson. They're out here. Joe Omega celebrating. Joe Omega. The Crusade. What's going on here? Oh my God, the Crusade. They celebrate here on Sixth Sense. Good fight. Good night.